and welcome back to <clears throat> welcome back today. Hello and welcome back to The Air Effect. Today I am going to be talking about vintage on a budget and reviewing and trying on a brand that I have loved and worn for quite a few years. So I want to start a series here on my channel where I review inexpensive retro brands because I know that a lot of people are searching for affordable vintage or reproduction looking clothing and retro brands can be expensive, vintage can be expensive, and I also know that as a mid-size plus size gal, it can be hard to find affordable and cute and size inclusive brands. So today I'm going to review a brand called Belle Puck. I have worn them and loved them for many years, which I will talk about, but they reached out to me to see if I would do a try on haul. And because I have bought from them before, because they're one of my go-to inexpensive retro brands, I thought it was a great opportunity to start up this series and talk about where you can find more plus size retro brands. I hope that you enjoy this review and I'm also going to show you some of the dresses I've bought from them before they asked me to do this review. Just so you know, I actually do like this brand and I have bought from them before. So let's get started. First up, I want to talk about this cardigan, which this is arguably my favorite thing from this whole try on. It is this orange cardigan. It's cropped. It's got cute little puffy sleeves. It's button up the front and I love this cardigan. It fits really well. It doesn't gap in the front. Um, I probably could have gone a size down. I got an extra large and I am a 42 or 43 in the bust. I think that I could have gotten a large and it would have stretched just fine, but I don't know how the button gap gapping would be. So this is really, really nice quality. It feels very, very soft and I just love it. I really want one in every color now. which on the website it says that that fits up to a 46 in the bust. I would dare to say that it probably would fit up to about a 50 in the bust. This has a lot of stretch and this will run you, the most expensive is $20, the least expensive right now. I think there's a sale color that's like $12.99. So it is a decent price. I think it's worth the $20 and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So next up is this really, really cute off the shoulder top in navy. This one comes in four different colors. It comes in black, lavender, navy, and red, I believe. And I was really concerned that this might be too low or it would fall down too much in the chest because a lot of the times with off the shoulder tops, I, I wonder if you can hear that helicopter. I was worried that this might either be too tight in the sleeves where it wouldn't stay off the shoulder if you wore it or it would fall down in the chest and thankfully it's neither. Um, this is very comfortable and again it fits me really well. Um, I got an extra large. I got an extra large in all of the items and I would dare to say that you could probably wear, uh, it stretches quite a bit so you could probably get away with sizing down. I might try and size down one just to see how it fits. But the nice thing about this is that it does not roll up at the bottom and that is a problem I always have because I have a belly. I have had four kids and my belly is not going anywhere. So one of the issues I always run into is that a lot of tops tend to roll up at the bottom and this doesn't, which is really, really nice. Oh my gosh, helicopters. Two of them, what the heck? I really like the little bust detail here that kind of makes it a little more flattering over the chest and overall it's just really, really comfortable.
want to wear this on the shoulder. I think it's meant to be, you're supposed to be able to wear it on or off the shoulder, but mine, the left sleeve falls down, so I can't actually wear it on the shoulder. And I don't know if it's because the elastic in the sleeve is just a little bit looser on this side. Um, I could probably fix it actually and make it slightly tighter, but that is my only critique of this top. It's a really nice thick fabric. It wasn't too flimsy and it's just a nice basic for vintage style. So this one again comes up to a 2X, which I think you could get away with being larger than their size chart because it's got a lot of stretch and it is $18.99. This next one I got and I actually didn't know if I would like the way it fit on me, but I wanted to challenge myself as a mother with a belly. I wanted to challenge myself to wear a pencil dress because I'm trying to get over my insecurities about my stomach area and I felt so good in this dress. This is an off the shoulder long sleeve dress with a mermaid or fishtail hem. I don't remember what it's called. Um, and it is beautiful. I don't know. I can't decide if I'm a fan of the fabric or not. That is my one critique. It is a very nicely made dress. It's very sturdy. It's sort of supportive, but it also kind of just feels like my Spanx, and I, I can't like a thicker pair of Spanx, and I can't decide if I like that. It isn't, um, it isn't like a compression material. It's not super, super thick. It's not really thin either. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, it has a nice amount of stretch, but I think that really the, f the fabric will show your lumps and bumps. And I did wear my Rago Longline leg shapers with this because I just needed something to smooth. And when I wear pencil dresses, I like them to be that kind of material where you don't have to wear Spanx in order to hide the, the finer bumps on your body. Um, I just like having a little bit more support, but it is a beautiful dress. I will wear it. Um, I, I really love the way that it's made. Um, and it has a nice waist detail, which is something I always look for because I want to emphasize the smallest part of my waist. And then I kind of like the back detail of having the visible zipper. Um, it's a metal zipper and it's really nice quality. Um, and I like that a lot. My only other critique of this dress is that the sleeves are just the same, same width all the way down. And I wish that the sleeves were smaller at the ends. <laughs> $25. If you need something where you want to feel kind of rockabilly pinup, um, this would be a great option. It's super, super comfortable. It's easy to walk in. It doesn't make you feel like some pencil dresses where you put it on and then you can't move your knees. Um, it's actually very comfortable and I really like the length too. It's not too short. That's one other thing that I'm always worried about with pencil dresses. A lot of brands cut their pencil dresses off above the knee and then I'm always pulling it down and fiddling with it. This one's not like that. This one's actually got the little mermaid tail which makes it longer and it's a really nice length. This again comes up to a 2X and I actually, I got an extra large. So this one, I got an extra large and it said that the hips would fit 45 inches. I took a chance because usually stretchier dresses will fit my hips and this, uh, my, my hips are 50 so that's a full five inches above what the size chart says. I just buy things to fit my chest um, and it fits fine. It didn't look like it was too tight as you can see. It didn't feel too tight. So I would say you could go a full five inches above what their size chart says and you will fit just fine. Last up is this 
A-line skirt with the buttons down the front. This, I have to be honest, this is my least favorite item and it's probably partially because even though I showed you a dress that I really loved, I have a hard time styling black when it's not a dress. With a dress, I feel like that's a whole mood and I can really accessorize it, accessorize it with a lot of color. But this skirt, I had a lot, I had a really hard time styling this. Partially because it's an A-line, which I prefer either to be pencil or super full. Um, A-lines are kind of that weird middle ground where I don't feel like they're as good for my proportions and I just end up feeling a little awkward. And then because it's black, I don't have a lot of tops that I like with black skirts and maybe that's the problem. Um, and the other thing, my this is my only real big critique of this is that the fabric is the same as the dress and it works great as a dress but it's a little weird to have a super stretchy a-line skirt. I wanted the waistline to be a little more solid and just in general it's not super flowy. Um, so I'm not too sure about the fabric. Uh, and then the belt is a floppy belt which I really don't love. I did wear it for the video just because I wanted to show how it looked on. But I really don't like fabric belts. So I will not use this belt ever <laughs> um, because it's just it constantly needs to be adjusted, especially in the back. I have back rolls and when I'm wearing a belt, if it's fabric, it just constantly folds over because back rolls. So I don't like the belt. I do, I do like the skirt and I think if it was in a different color, I would probably like it more, but I wanted to try and choose some fall items because it's fall and I'm trying to keep my wardrobe practical even though these were sent to me. Um, I still want to get things that I will use and wear. Um, and I think I might try out and see if they have any actual circle skirts because this just, I like it and it's a nice skirt but I, it just has too many little things that I don't love. Um, but the one big thing that I love is that it has pockets. Um, so that, is a really big redeeming factor. It's got nice deep pockets. And if you like stretchy and you like the A-line silhouette, you will like this skirt. It is a really nicely made skirt. It's a heavier weight. Um, it will be warmer. And I think, I think if I can find some tops that I would like with a black skirt, I will wear it. up to a 2XL which I think you could definitely get away with being bigger than the waist because again this fits me without stretching and it's got a lot of stretch in it. This skirt is $27. Um, it's worth it considering the cost of most retro items. It is nice. I think it will last for a long time. It's just not my personal style preference which is funny because I... oops. <laughs> Which is funny to say because I did choose these items. They didn't just send me random stuff. Um, I just want to like it more than I do. So, really quick before I end this video, I want to show you some of the Belpoc items that I own and I have owned for a long time. Starting with the newest one. Uh, this you can still buy on their website in several different colors. It is this really, oops, I didn't zip it. This gorgeous rose embroidered dress with a A-line skirt and red buttons down the front. I asked for this for my birthday actually and my mom bought it for me and it is gorgeous. 
I do have to tailor it slightly because the straps are too long for me, but that is something that I run across in a lot of different brands. This is the same material as the dress and skirt, but it really works well in this dress. It's very, very flattering. I really like the proportions on me and it's long enough, uh, which I really like. I don't like vintage brands that have shorter lengths because it just doesn't fit my aesthetic. So um, here's a picture of me wearing this dress. As you can see it, I wish I had filmed this day because I really loved, I loved this dress, I loved the way it looked, I liked my accessories, but I didn't film it, I just took this mirror photo, so there's that. This next one I bought a, I want to say three-ish years ago, and you can no longer find this one on their website, which is really sad because I love this dress. Um, but it is kind of like a picnic-ish print. It's got tomatoes and leaves and roses and like pictures of the beach on it. I don't actually know what the print is, but it's really cute. It's got a cutout neckline. You can see these pictures of me wearing it. Um, this, I like this fabric more than their newer fabrics. I think they, they changed the fabric that they're using. This is a cotton and spandex blend, which I much prefer to whatever those other two are. Um, but they also extended their size ranges, and I'm wondering if that has affected how they make their clothing. But yeah, this is one of the other dresses that I've had forever. It's very, very cute, and they need to bring it back because I love it. And then lastly, and this is the first dress I think I ever bought from them, and this is a dress that I get asked about all the time because it is gorgeous, but it is this green um, spring dress with the sweetheart neckline and a cutout back and it's got a super full skirt and this again is the same material as the other one which I prefer it's a cotton and spandex blend this dress you guys here's pictures of me wearing it it is stunning it is one of my favorite dresses I have I wanted another dress like this for a long time but I bought this right when they discontinued this style and this fabric and I'm so sad about that because it's so pretty but those are the dresses that I have owned before Belle Pock wanted me to work with them. I think Belle Pock is a really great option if you're looking for more affordable and size inclusive retro brands. If you especially want like workwear, they have a really good line of cardigans and tops and skirts that would work great for an office um, or any kind of uniform that you might have or even if you just want some comfortable everyday wear it's a really really nice brand to buy from and they're very very affordable as you can see the most expensive thing i got was 27 dollars and if you would like 20% off, you can go down to the description. They sent me a code. It looks a little funky, but it works and it will work on anything on Amazon. And I haven't tested on beltpock.com, but they told me that it should work there too. So if you want to get 20% off, go down to the description. I will link every single item that I have, except for the ones that they no longer make. Um, I will link all of those items. You can shop through my links and I will earn a commission, which goes to help me. You can use the discount and it's just happy all around. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if there's a brand that you want me to review or you're curious if I have. By the way, shout out to my friend Emily who runs the vintage shop where I got this dress. If you're looking for a vintage brand, an actual vintage shop, she is a great one to shop from because she is affordable and like she finds cute stuff. So go check her out. I will link her down below. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post lots of vintage style content and I am always happy to have new people around. I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved. And until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!